So I do have my Choco Treat box. Um, I've only seen like one or two things, so I haven't actually like opened it up like the other one. As you can see, it's very much intact. Um, I do like the look of these, so peach mint Kit Kats. So I cannot wait to try them. But hello and welcome. My name is Kitty Kat ninety eight seven, and today on my show I have the Choco Treat box, and I cannot wait to show you guys. So this is the theme, it's Life's a Beach. <laughs> um, like I say, these leaflets are so cool, how they do them. So yeah, in here it gives you all the information you need on all the products you have in your box and what they taste like and what flavours are like. So yeah, so this is always handy and they always give you a name. So yeah, let's, and also if you have a DIY one, which they do in every box as well, they always give you instructions as well, so this is really, really handy. So yeah, let me show you guys what's in here. And also I was going to take them out the packages this time to show you guys what they actually look like instead of like showing the packaging, if that makes sense. I was going to try and change things up a bit so that you guys can see see more of them. So yeah, I'm going to start off with these. Obviously these are two neat Kit Kats. I am really, really excited. Look at that, the package is lovely. So, I'm going to try one of these so I can open it. And these always come in little tiny Kit Kats like this. So, these are perfect. Um, so, going away. They are so tiny. And you can, um, in Japan, they always have a little room at the back so you can like write a little message if you're handing them out. So it's quite cool. So yeah, let's try one of these. This is the first one, I mean. I can smell the mint in them. And I imagine the peach is like inside. Look how cool that is. Oh, they smell amazing. Let's try this. No. Oh. They're so nice. Oh, hint of mint. Can't really taste the peach, but oh my days. These are so nice and they're green inside as well. Oh my gosh, they're so nice. Oh, now I can taste the peach. It comes a bit afterwards, but I'm sure I've had these before. These are like, um, these are crushed potatoes, but these remind me of like little hula hoops. So we have had something similar to these before, I'm sure we've had these before. But yeah, this is like a party pack, share pack, where you can um, share them out, which I normally do. I should normally share them out to like my brothers, um, my sister-in-law and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys what these look like. What these look like, they're tiny in there. They're like, they are so cute. They're like little mini little hoops. And it tastes like little hoops, but a bit more, a bit more nice and not as salty. They're so cute. I know my son's gonna love these, so we can have a pack later. So perfect. Mm. Yeah. Boom, boom. Absolutely love them. I'm not gonna try. And, I'm not gonna open these ones because I don't really want these to go stale. Because um, it's a big pack, so I don't really want to open these ones. But when I do, I'll post a picture of what they look like so you can have a look. But yeah, these are Doritos. Favorite these. These are sour cream and onion. Hmm. Sour cream and onion. Not my favorite. My mum loves sour cream and onion. Um, but I reckon with a dip, these will actually be quite nice. So I'm definitely going to try these out. Um, I might save them for a gathering because I think they'd be so cool and they're limited edition too but yeah these sound amazing but I'm not going to open them up because they will go to sale very quickly but these ones I'm going to eat very soon after this video I like this one as well I'm not going to open these up because I don't want them to go sale because they do go sale very quick um, obviously crisps do so this is another one we have and this one is da -da -da, it's a sugar rush Hmm. That'd be interesting. 
but yeah they feel very light um feel like wafer type things if that makes sense so yeah i can't know what to try these I bet they're going to taste nice as well Ooh. look at that it's like a fizzy lollipop <laughs> and this is a fizzy lollipop yep it's a sherbet put on cider Ooh. so yeah that's a bit nice so I tried to try that I was worried it was like popping candy but no, this sounds quite good. So yeah, I'm definitely going to give these. These are probably similar to Dib Dabs that we get in the UK. Maybe something along those lines. So yeah, this is definitely be interesting. So yeah, can't wait to try them. Okay, some stuff I'm not getting out because they will go dry. So this one is Tun 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 Natsu Sauce. Uh, I think it's deep fried pork cutting cutting cut cutlets. So it's pork flavoured. Hmm. That'd be interesting. I'm sorry if I can't say some of these properly, but <laughs> I'm still learning. So this is what it is called. You can see that it's this one here. Um I'm still getting there, but yeah, that'd be interesting. So like I say, these always remind me of like a big what's it? I'm gonna show you guys this one so I don't I don't know how to show you guys, but oh, they actually smell really nice. So yeah, as you get it open, it's this big, and you normally get one with a hole in it. Some of these are so nice. So let's try a bit of this. This will be interesting. Ooh. it but wow I can't describe it you can taste like the pork type effect to it but it's, just, it's got a little kick but that is nice man really nice <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, it's like kick right at the end that's definitely interesting very interesting. Um, I've got a few snacks to eat later. <laughs> and the next thing we have, excuse me, and this is the next one we have. This is mini chocolate bat. Okay, so they're five mini basketball bat chocolates. Hmm. Be interesting. See if we can open this. Aha. Let's see. Oh, I love how they um, do the chocolates here because they all come like this, so they all come wrapped. And this is what they look like. This is in this. I think it's just all chocolate. These out. Smells nice. So, this is what they look like. Let's try this out. Hmm, that's different. Like a wafer covered in chocolate. It's very light. Definitely very light. So this is really nice as well. Definitely recommend eating these because some of them are probably more heavier than we have over here. But yeah. Mm. But yeah, I'm gonna put them in the fridge as well because they're gonna melt, especially the heat we're having in the UK. Okay. This is a gummy one. So this is grape gummies. Oh, look at that. And that's that famous man. And and Pac Man. I'm gonna have to look him up. I know I've had quite a few stuff of him. I love grape 
dummies from Japan. These are amazing. All the ones we've, all the gummy ones we've had are just amazing. Absolutely love them. I'm gonna be on a sugar high after this. Oh, look how cute these are! Look. So this is what they come in. I love, I love the packaging these come in. So this is what the gummy looks like. I think it's really hard to see on here. But how cool are they? Let's try a great gummy. Come off. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Love them, right? And we have our DIY uh, ice cream cones, which we've had before. So I know what these say. So these are nice. So don't need to do that much. And then we have. I might not open these because these look like crisps. And then we have these ones. What flavour are these? This is Texas corn. Mm. This is similar to a pancake. I can't say the word. It's got cabbage, egg, meat, cheese, onion, and seafood. So I'm going to just show you this because my phone's playing up. So this one. This is what it's called. I cannot say that. Um, I do have trouble saying words. So that's this one. I'm not going to open them up because they will um, go stale quickly. And this one. It's soft candy soda one. But these sound nice. Oh. I'm going to try one of these in a minute because I think they're going to take a while to eat. Ooh. And we have these ones. These are sour peach gum. But these will be nice as well. Oh, I can smell that. I can smell the peach in them. I wonder how that oh my gosh they're really uh, oh they gone <laughs> mm. oh that tastes nice <laughs> should you this one last That gun is really nice, especially the peach and the sour goes together really well. But I should have done it last. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is chocolate mint candy. I know all the little packages on there, but yeah. When I finish eating this, I'll show you guys what these look like. Yeah. Excuse me, but I bet these will be very nice. And last but not got least is our drink. This is melon cream soda, which just sounds amazing. So I cannot wait to try this. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think I've had quite gum quite like this. This is like really chewy. In the UK, when you get extras and that, they don't last that long. But this is the taste of this, and the, and all the texture is so nice. It's lasting like ages. Hmm. Definitely recommend them. Though. Yeah, it's a good gum. <laughs> it's a very good gum. So that is it for these ones. Definitely recommend them though. Yeah, it's a good gum. <laughs> it's a very good gum. So that is it for these ones. 
I will try and put some pictures up of the ones I haven't shown you and what they look like. I'm really, really bad. But everything that I've tried is super, super nice, so I re totally recommend it. And if you do live in the UK, there are some Japanese markets, I think in Leicester Square, quite a few in London where you can get some of these stuff from. So if you are in London, definitely go and visit them. Um, if I find the link, I'll, I'll put it down below because there are loads of shops there that you can get some of this stuff from. And also try men in pan bread. That is amazing. And there's also a good bake bakery in London. I can't remember what it's called because my brother took me there. But their fresh stuff is amazing.